Welcome to the Idaho Transportation Permits System, also known as ITRIPS User Tutorial Videos. This video will guide you through the features available from the company dashboard in ITRIPS at www.permitsforidaho.com. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the ITRIPS User Tutorial Videos link. After logging into the system, the company dashboard will be displayed. Hovering over any question mark icon will display a brief explanation of the field. Clicking the icon will display a detailed help message. The company dashboard is the primary interface of iTRIPS. The section of your company dashboard that lists your company's permit order information is also called the queue. The primary function of the queue is to interact with your permits. If you are a permit service, the permit history is separated by company in your queue. The New Permit button will initiate the permit ordering process. To order a new permit, click the New Permit button at the top of the Permit Queue panel. If you know which permit type you need, select I know which permit I need and follow the prompts on the screen. If you are not sure which permit type you need, select I need help choosing the permit. This selection will begin the permit wizard. The Permit Wizard is a series of questions regarding your vehicle, load, and other permit needs. Proceed through the Permit Wizard, and based on your responses, the Permit Wizard will suggest the type of permit needed. Selecting an item from the Show drop-down list will allow you to filter the content of the queue by status. The Refresh button will refresh the queue. The Search Permits button will allow you to search for a permit in the queue. After clicking the Search Permits button, Select a search parameter from the Search By drop-down list. You can choose from options such as Permit Number or ID, Permit Type, Dates, VIN, and Terminal. Enter or select the information in the Text field or Second drop-down list and click the Go button. The Company Dashboard will display the permits meeting the search criteria. The Show drop-down list at the bottom of the Permit queue will define how many records will be displayed at one time. Each column can be sorted by clicking the headers. Sort the columns by permit number or ID, type, submitted, status, or expired date. The action column will perform various actions based on the permit status. Clicking on the select link to the right of the permit under the action column in the permit queue will display several options from which to choose. The various actions available to users are dependent upon the permit status. Permits that have a status of unfinished indicate the permit order process is incomplete for a variety of reasons. Choosing the Select link in the Action column will let you resume the permit to complete it or cancel the permit if it is no longer needed. An Issued status means the permit is issued and valid. View the Permit Details page by clicking the View Permit link after clicking the Select link in the Action column to view all the information the permit contains. Click the Copy Permit link to start a new permit and retain the same information. This information can be changed for the new permit. Click the Request Amend to request an amendment for the issued permit. For permits with an issued status, the PDF of the permit can be opened directly from the dashboard by clicking on an Issued Permit Number hyperlink. iTRIPS uses several other statuses to indicate the position in the workflow for the permit application or to indicate if additional information is needed for the applicant. The Administrative panel is located on the upper left side of the company dashboard in the menu. Click the Menu button to display several links that perform different functions regarding your company account. The Company Data link will display the Company Data screen where you can edit items such as users, passwords, and vehicles if you are listed as an administrator on the account. If you have a status of user, clicking on the Company Data link will allow you to edit only your name, email address, phone number, and change your password. All users should enter an email address, prompt question, and response in order to retrieve a username or reset a forgotten password. This saves time, allowing you to bypass calling the permit office for a password reset. Users with a status of administrator can edit company information such as the primary email, default delivery method, contacts, addresses, terminals, users, and vehicles. A person must be set up as a user to log into the system and order permits. To set up a new user, click the New button next to the Users section and enter all required information. 
Click the Insert button to add the new user. To edit an existing user, including deactivating, locking out, or deleting a user, find the user's name in the drop-down list and click the Edit button. This will display the user's information so you can edit the details for that specific user. Click the Update button to update the user's information. The Vehicles section contains all the vehicles your company has stored in the system. To edit a vehicle, select the vehicle from the drop-down list and click the Edit button. On this screen, you can change the unit number, make, year, VIN, plate, plate state, and terminal if terminals are entered. Click the Update button to update the vehicle information. You can add new vehicles by selecting the New button and entering in all required information. Click the Insert button to add the new vehicle to the inventory. Clicking the Excel icon will open an Excel file of your vehicle inventory that is stored in iTrips for easy reference. There is a separate tutorial video on importing vehicles located on the login page. Clicking the Home button will bring you back to your company dashboard. The pre-trip routing link will allow users to generate a route without actually submitting an application to iTrips. This feature is provided as a service for quoting loads and is a suggestion only. The route is subject to change during the application process depending on actual dimensions, restrictions, and other factors considered by ITD. The Reports link will allow users to view and print various reports such as a reconciliation report. The Saved Trips link will allow users to see a list of saved trips and edit the trip name or delete trips that have been saved for the company account. There is a separate video for saving trips located on the login page. The Shopping Cart link will bring users to the Shopping Cart and the Vehicle Import link will allow users to upload their vehicles into iTrips for faster permit ordering. There are separate videos for the Shopping Cart and importing vehicles located on the login page. Once a permit application has been approved by an ITD user or has been self-issued by iTrips, the permit will be available for purchase in the Shopping Cart. Clicking the Shopping Cart button on the right of the dashboard will display a summary of the permits awaiting payment. The number of permits awaiting payment will populate between the parentheses. Permits not purchased by midnight of the requested start date will be automatically canceled at midnight and given a no payment status. These permits will no longer be available for purchase and a new application will need to be submitted. On the right of the dashboard you can find your shopping cart to locate permits pending payment. The shopping cart link in the administrative panel under the menu button provides detailed information regarding permits available for purchase. Permits can be paid from either location. There is a separate video titled Shopping Cart located on the login page detailing how to purchase permits from the shopping cart. The quarterly mileage fee reporting will be available prior to September 15, 2019. Users will be able to access their quarterly road use fee and view current and past quarter reports by clicking the links located under the shopping cart. Payments can be made directly from iTrips. The Messages section contains important announcements from ITD. The messages displayed here will quickly allow you to see items that pertain to the trucking industry and permitting in Idaho. The Message Center is also used to announce system maintenance and scheduled downtime. The Statistics panel displays basic information for your company such as the number of permits issued for your company today and the number of self-issued permits for the day. These numbers are refreshed throughout the day as permit activity continues. The Home button at the top of the screen will always bring you back to your company dashboard from anywhere throughout the system. The Help button at the top of the screen will display help information for the page you are on in iTrips. This concludes the iTrips user tutorial video on navigating the company dashboard. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.